Hey guys, what's going on? Jake here once again, and today is January 31st. It's cutting in a little close to the end of the month and the beginning of February, so this is kind of late. Um, but there were some things that were get I was getting over the month that I really wanted to be in the setup. One of which is unfortunately not in the setup, but will be in the February setup. So, just like December of last year, we're just going to get right into the gaming setup. We're not going to do the rest of the room first. And we'll go ahead and get started actually by the closet, which is actually the biggest thing. So, in it's just a closet. It's a normal closet. I got my keys, uh, Broncos, until, you know, they kind of didn't, you know, yeah, whatever. Game over shirt. Zeus is back there chirping. Hey! Yeah, that's what I thought. No trespassing. Uh, violators will be shot, survivors will be shot again, and that's because it used to be dirty, but now it's clean. Uh, so I have some stuff, I have Nerf stuff, a Game of Thrones poster, paperwork, some drawings, a yearbook, it's kind of dark in there. Um, all the Nerf guns are organized now, so here's some games, some discs, Yu-Gi-Oh, because Yu-Gi-Oh is boss, you can't really see that because it's really dark. Um, Nerf, Nerf, uh, Nerf, Deer Antlers, and Nerf, all the way into the back. It's dark, so you can't see it, but I'm gonna try to get a light in there. Uh, on the inside, I have a little story behind these, this pair of khakis. So, at IHOP, everybody calls me Jake from State Farm. So, everybody says, what are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? And my response is, um, khakis? So, for Christmas, we had Secret Santa, and somebody got me a pair of khakis for a... Two month, uh, two year old, yeah, 24 months. So they thought that would be funny, but they put a pocket knife on the inside, so that was kind of cool. Uh, back here, we have my graduation cap, as well as Orcrist, the uh, Sword of Thor and Oaken Shield from The Hobbit. Um, I recently got something else. It's not Hobbit related, but it's on the other wall, which I'll show you guys in a bit. I took the light down that was up there because it was dying for God knows whatever reason, so that's that. Um, moving on straight to the desk and to the gaming setup. So first off, the desk is a big old long desk as you guys can see right here. There's actually an L piece that connects. It's supposed to be an L desk, so there's supposed to be a corner piece, which I do not have because my room is way too tiny. This is the Brenton Studio Zentra Collection L desk. I got it at Office Max. I think it's still there. I think you can check Amazon as well. It's a glass desk with uh, steel supports, all that good stuff, and that's that for the desk. Now we'll go ahead and move on. So the first thing you guys can tell that I have two 24-inch monitors right here. They are gorgeous. They're LG. They were less than 150 or 160 bucks each. They have a really low response time. They're both Energy Star approved, so they have very thin power connectors. I'll go ahead and show you on the back. They're super thin. They have a kind of cool of a little cool little kind of etched design on the back that just makes them look really sleek. They're thin as hell. They are great, great monitors. I can't find them anymore. And if I could, I would totally get a third one. But I can't, so I can't. So, the other thing you guys are going to see is I have a bunch of speakers. Now, this is the Logitech Z506. The one over here is the power main volume control, all that good stuff. Go ahead and turn it back on. We have the right one over there. The middle one here, which actually has a little rubber thing on the bottom you can actually flip out um, that will actually clasp onto like a monitor or something, but I just want it to stay there. Nice and stationary. The one over here is the left. We have the rear left over here for the 5.1 surround. And then the rear right is all the way over here underneath the corner of the futon. So the rest of the desk, we're getting there. On top of the first monitor, we have the Logitech C920 Pro. This is an HD or HD Pro webcam, 720p, 1080p, 30 FPS. It's a great, great webcam. I would definitely recommend it if you're willing to spend a little bit more than, say, 60 bucks. I think I got it for 75 or 80 at Office Max. Great, great web camera. So, so worth it. It's got stereo mics, autofocus. It's great. To the rest, we have pretty much the highlight of the desk, really, is the Corsair Vengeance K70 RGB. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little feature of this RGB right here. This is, I'm just gonna let this play throughout the video. This is the most 
gorgeous rainbow effect I've ever seen on a keyboard. Even if Razer has the Black Widow Chroma, this looks the best compared to the other one. It, does, it looks a little laggy, I can tell. Let's see if we switch it over to the other gradient wave, it should be a lot smoother. There we go. So that is that keyboard. It's got Cherry MX Reds under here. I'll go ahead and pop up a keycap for you. And there you go. There's that Cherry MX Red switch I cleaned out the other day. Pop that baby on there. Oh, I'm switching profiles at the same time I'm doing all this. My bad. Switch back to the default profile. It's going to go back through all the colors. All the way to red. And then it's going to pop back to the blue and the white that I had set up. There we go. And that's the keyboard. It's fantastic. You guys can see a review and unboxing of that on my channel as well as a little walk through some through some of the uh, confusing ass software that Corsair gave out. Again on this first monitor we have a Kingston card reader back there that's USB 3.0, SD card, compact flash card, micro SD card, MS and DUO cards. It's an amazing reader, it's got some blazing fast speeds and I use it for my camera to put the videos and pictures onto the computer. Here uh, the mouse pad is a Corsair Gaming um, MM200. It's a decent mouse pad, it's actually really really nice. And right on top of that we have the Corsair M65. This baby's probably going to get upgraded very, very soon. Mostly because there are some problems with it recently that I have been unable to figure out why. Um, I've just been getting a lot of notifications saying USB device not recognized, all that good stuff. And I'm thinking it's coming from the mouse because sometimes if I were to restart the computer, the mouse would not work and I'd have to plug it in. Uh, three times to actually get it to respond so I'm probably gonna get an RGB M65 in the near future. The uh, arm you guys see right here is an AGP Tech Boom. Um, it's not the best. I've, I keep saying I'm gonna get another one, probably a Rode PSA1, but I just have not had the time or the money for it. So I might in the near future, hopefully really really soon. But that's also supporting the Radius Shock Mount by Yeti, as well as a Blue Yeti microphone, the Black Edition. You guys can also find an unboxing of the mic and the stand on my channel. Now another thing is, this is the Corsair Vengeance 2100. This is the wireless gaming headset back here. This is a great, great freaking headset. You guys can also find that on my channel. I picked that up in August of last year because I kind of drove by Best Buy and remembered they were having an August audio, August audio sale. Wow, English, which was awesome. So I got that little, little off. Really, really, definitely, definitely worth it. I have a Cosmos headphone stand, that of which I have signed. This stand is actually unavailable on Amazon anymore, so I can't send you guys a link if I wanted to. Now, here is the thing that drives it all. This is Eidolon. This is Project Eidolon. It's pretty much version 3.0. I'll go ahead and pop off the side panel. First thing, this case is the NZXT Phantom 410. It's a custom paint job, actually. There is silver and blue instead of black and dark gray. It's usually a gunmetal color, and I decided I'd spice it up a few months ago. The front panel, it looks a lot more professional than the top one, but that's all right. I'll upgrade cases eventually. I got some EVGA case badges on there. I'm gonna go ahead and take the side panel off real quick and show you guys the insides. First off, this baby is running a I an i7, can't speak English. Well, it's running a Z97 Extreme 4 motherboard by ASRock sporting the 4790K i7 by Intel. Amazing, amazing processor. I'll pull up what we're running on core temperatures right now. It's pretty low, it pretty much always is. Right now we're running 30s, 29s. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Now in, inside here we also have two GTX 760s by Nvidia, um, both of which are actually super clocked just a little bit. You have a Corsair CX750M power supply. Yes, I am a big Corsair fan. We have an H100i by Corsair also in here, as well as 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance right in the back. We have, of course do have a DVD drive in here. It's an M disc by LG Super Multi. It's pretty damn good. I'm not, not disappointed with a $25 uh, DVD drive at all. In here we have a Samsung 
Evo 840. This is a uh, SSD right sitting up there, as well as a 500 gig drive down here and a terabyte drive up here. The terabyte is for all videos, media, music, all that good stuff. And the 500 gig is for other programs and things that I don't need running very quickly. Over the fans, we have two Corsair SP120 Quiet Editions at the top, two Airflow LEDs, uh, also Quiet Editions in the front, another Quiet Edition 120 millimeter fan, Airflow of course, at the bottom, another at the back for exhaust, and another one right here on the side panel because I love Airflow. Airflow is the most important thing. Right now it's on the medium, oh no, it's on the highest fan setting, so these things do push quite a bit of air which is awesome I love 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 these fans and I love the fan controller on this case so that's pretty much it for the computer there's nothing really changed besides getting that good stuff there's nothing else really over here in the computer area that's entirely important on the side here I do have this little Accurite temperature reader I had one a while ago and I don't know what I do with it I misplaced it or I lost it or threw it away or something Basically, I can look at the temperature, the uh, ambient temperature, the humidity, the out uh, indoor humidity, 23%, pretty low. What the temperature is in here, it's about 73 at the moment. I like to bring it down to maybe 70 or 68 or 69, ah, 69, and uh, really keep it cool. So all the cool air coming by the computer is definitely worth it. So it goes through and comes out the top. Maybe a little bit warm. Right now, it's pretty cool, though. Above the setup, I don't have the Game of Thrones poster anymore. I actually have the normal uh, Hobbit and Unexpected Journey poster over here, and then the other Hobbit, the Battle of the Five Armies poster over here. If I can get the one for the second movie, I'll put it right in between um, if I find a poster somewhere. But that's pretty much it for the wall, so now I realize that it makes my room look a lot bigger. Uh, over here in the back corner on top of the desk, we have the mini fridge. Now, it's got, some, it's got an RC helicopter that was in my um, closet, which I have not used in a long time, so that, that was up there charging today. The mug back there from high school. Nothing in my fridge currently, besides some cream cheese, because I have some bagels down below. Painting back there, up on, done by my mother-in-law, who's a fantastic painter. Down here, we have some tech stuff. So here we have the Ga Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 Lite. Now, I don't use it very much, but it's very handy, because if somebody calls me on Facebook, Unfortunately, I can't answer it from my phone, so it goes right to my tablet. And the ringtone, Zeus, my parakeet up there, has managed to get it down exactly. So whenever he would make the sound, I would think that somebody's calling me, which is kind of annoying. Back there, we also have a Kindle Fire that I won a few years ago. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it. Maybe it'll be a giveaway thing? I don't know. Got some pledge wipes back there. We have... Oh, that's my inhaler, because I was deadly, deadly sick about a month ago and they prescribed that to me. So that's pretty much it for that drawer. Besides here, we got some Kit Kats and beef jerky and stuff like that, bagels, chocolates, good stuff. And down here we have the two otter boxes, um, a bag of bags, and my BB gun. And that's pretty much it. Moving over, we have a little cabinet here that came with the desk. Here's the poster that I meant to put up, but it managed not to because Walmart didn't have a freaking poster frame. Got a lockbox on top with the Swiffer Duster. Got a little microfiber white back there. Got some bullet shells. Got a knife tightener. A hat that was signed by a Rockies baseball player. And some, let's see, those are earmuffs for when I go shooting with my friends. Now back down here, uh, this is pretty much the tech drawer. This has old headphones, an old ethernet cable, uh, fans that have been converted to USB power so I can run airflow tests on the radiator um, a bunch of other stuff so that's pretty neat just a bunch a bunch of fans and tech stuff um, a bag of cables that's in there sorry it's a little dark in the corner over here we have these uh, well Arizona a lot of Arizona we have Arizona half and half or Arnold Palmer uh, green tea and then sweet tea, which are easily my two favorites, um, if not all three of them being a definite, definite favorite. So on top of the desk, we just have that pledge multi-service, some dusting, and with the camera bag with the camera cap. Now, I think that's pretty much it for over here in general. Uh, what I forgot to mention is that the desk has a light strip, which you guys can see. You guys can find all of this stuff down in the, the description below. 
This light strip is by Super Knight. You can find it on Amazon for like 25 bucks. Um, you have to get the one for 25 bucks. If you don't, you're not getting the full kit, which includes the remote, 16 feet of the uh, of the cable, um, the power adapter, and the uh, IR sensor, which is right here for the remote. So you need the one that says $25 on Amazon. Again, that's going to be in the description. Um, go ahead and check it out. You guys can see that power box right back there on the le uh, the desk of the leg. So if I wanted to. I could switch it to red, or I could make it fade, and we could go into a whole trippy zone right now. I could make it flash. Well, that's just normal white. That's kind of boring. I would turn it back to static, have it go jump. You could just jump between different colors, kind of set it to some music. It kind of, just the constant switching, one, two, three, kind of sets with music sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Go ahead and switch that back to white. You can pretty much do whatever the heck you want with it. Especially, you can also program it with DIY, do-it-yourself buttons. It's pretty cool. I've never really played around with that stuff, though. Now, over here in front of the window, we have Zeus. Now, this is my parakeet. I've had him for a while. Say hi. Say hi. Hello. Oh, he's saying hi. Um, he's got his own little throne up here. Uh, and he likes to get on the American flag when I let him out sometimes, too, now. So he's pretty cool. Um, he bites pretty much everything and everyone and has no mercy whatsoever. So he's kind of a jerk, but no big deal. It's really not a big deal. We'll go ahead and go down below. We have some lightsabers and some knives and stuff. Just prop lightsabers, of course. I got a diploma. Got a Transformers ring, some other stuff. I have um, two pieces. Well, I have a piece of amethyst. Quartz, two dragons, and then two shells I got from Florida with an IHOP name tag. Down on the second one, we have the Xfinity router, which is right here, which is running off of a coaxial out of the wall right there. We have a Philips NFC Bluetooth speaker. Now, this was 100 bucks at Walmart. Uh, it's really, really good, actually. If I went ahead and turned that button on, it's going to try and detect for any Bluetooth devices. I can connect it to my computer with the little Bluetooth adapter I have there. Um, and this is actually a, um, an LED fan that I had a long time ago with my original build, which I converted to USB and is actually plugged into the back of the speaker running off of that USB. Uh, if I went back to my phone, which is over here, which is also on the desk, this is the iPhone 5S. And go ahead and turn on the Bluetooth. It's going to go steady light real quick, and then it'll be all connected. Nope, maybe not. It'll take a little while. You'll hear a beep. On the top of that, I have uh, my name on a glass from when my brother got married last year. I have an iPhone 5S box and an iPhone 4S box. Zeus! Shush! And an iPhone 4S cover from Four Human Peoples. That is Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, and then I have those. I have some polished rocks here or some, yeah. Uh, and then I have another uh, signed baseball by um, Garrett Atkins, who is no longer a Rocky. He hasn't been for a while. No big deal. Down below here we have some good stuff. We have an SR-71 Blackbird model, which is easily, easily my favorite. P-38 Lightning, which is an older uh, World War One and World War II plane. Great, great, great freaking plane. And it's a bullet shell from A-10 Warthog, a California, um, whatchamacallit, thingamajigger that my friend got for me while she was there, and some books. So nothing else entirely exciting. Over here we have the LG Tone Pro. This is the Bluetooth headset I reviewed very recently that I got with my phone. And that's hanging on the Archon um, tablet mount. Now this is actually supposed to be for a car or a dashboard or a windshield, but I've actually hooked it up to the bottom of this glass um, bookshelf that looks exactly the same as the desk as you guys can kind of see. I'll just compare that with that. They are the same collection, but this comes separately. I'm just kind of chilling there and whenever I lay the futon down or whenever I go to bed I can put my phone just right there and it's very very nice and I always put tablets there too if I want to watch Netflix so we'll go ahead and go on we have a USB extension cable coming around all the way from the back of that USB hub back there 
right down here, up against here, and right here. So I can take my phone charger out of the top of the computer, put it right down here, plug it in, plug my phone in for the night, and then I'm good to go. Under here we have some 20 pound weights, some blue LED lighting uh, that are going around all the way around the bed underneath. They're not very bright, but it's okay. I have the piano down there. Now here's the futon. Not very important at all, I know. Now on the back wall, this is where I wanted to put that other poster. I'm going to go ahead and finish up here. I wanted to put the poster there, but didn't manage to. Um, and I'll show you guys that in February. Got some fans. I have a Chuck poster. This is a show on Netflix. Guys, go watch it. Seriously, it's fantastic. All the boxes for all of my computer parts back there. I'm not a hoarder, guys. Some of those boxes still have important things in them, and then I always use them for just memorabilia purposes. I have Guardians of the Galaxy, a Space Chimp poster, and a Keep Calm and Banff on poster. Real quick, I'm going to show you... Zeus! Don't you, don't you squeak at me. Don't you squeak. Really quickly, guys, I'm going to go ahead and turn off these lights and show you guys something I just got today. Um, actually, well, I didn't just get, but I ordered it yesterday, and it's here today. I'm going to go ahead and set the, mute, the mood real quick. Give me one second, and we'll set the mood, I tell you. All right, we're going to set the mood. There you go. This is the Hasbro Signature Series Anakin Skywalker Return of the Sith lightsaber that I have on the back wall here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful freaking replica, guys. Absolutely amazing. It's got clash sounds as well. So that's cool. It's so awesome. It's so good. It looks so real on camera as well, if you're looking at it from a distance. Pretty, pretty, pretty freaking sweet, if I do say so myself. There'll be a vlog on this thing, too. I'm going to go ahead and turn that music off real quick. And then in the back corner, we just have my coat hanger. And that's pretty much it for the room. Minecraft poster, Walking Dead poster, my dresser, and a bunch of other boxes that I still need to get rid of and stuff. Two fan towers to conclude. And that's really it, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys probably close to the end of February, just like this one. So I have plenty of time to get, you know, get a frame for that poster. Um, get some other stuff sorted out and by late March I'm gonna be out of here and I'm gonna have my own apartment you guys will be getting an apartment tour so thank you guys so much for watching again please like comment subscribe check over the channel check, check over the channel for vlogs and unboxing and stuff Zeus sends his chirping regards and I'll see you guys next time have a fantastic